to the second channel, man, and the beat from the intro is provided by the Ghost. There's a link in the description below that's going to take you to downloadpads.com. From there, you can find this particular beat tape because I'm live streaming it and get the contact information via Twitter. And if you holler at me and get some beats, tell them I sent you. But anyway, on to today's reply. And today's reply is to that young buck getting back. Now, this song here is pretty fucking dope. I like every aspect of it. That beat is pretty fucking dope. He may not be spitting the most prolific of lyrics, man, but he definitely goes well with the beat. And he's saying little bits of things in there that people need to hear. Now, overall, considering some of the great songs that Young Buck has done in the past, he can do better. But I definitely like this step in this direction, especially since he's not relying on G-Unit and such, man. He's still trying to put his own solo career to the front, in which that's something that a lot of people need to fucking understand. See, as things continue to unfold, you begin to hear things like, no one was going to fuck with 50 because he bought so many fucking bridges. But yet, G-Unit, they definitely need the fucking money. That's pretty much why they decided to run with them. Even though 50 Cent done violated on so many fucking levels to each of the members. So I'm happy that Young Buck realizes that 50 Cent will flip on him at any fucking particular moment, so he needs to be continuously building up his own name like Lloyd Banks need to be fucking doing but yet I haven't seen or heard anything from Lloyd Banks that's not G-Unit related in a very long fucking time and he should know better after 50 Cent came out saying that he's pretty much his fucking hype man which is why you as an individual artist you have to focus on your individual career like damn the crews and shit man because these motherfuckers don't have your best interest in mind and your career is the only one that you can actually control but go ahead peek that shit out man that joint is pretty solid but anyway on to ask download pass and J.O. Max says Wale is the best rapper out of Maybach music but yet it seems as though he's scared to leave Maybach music because it would seem as though he was hating on Meek Mill like he would give confirmation that he was doing it if he was just to fucking leave and you know what perception is a bitch in this game man but you gotta understand that everybody's perception usually is fucking wrong. Therefore, if you have to play the villain to get yourself in the right fucking position for your career, man, I say do that shit. Fuck all that loyalty for motherfuckers that don't have loyalty for you. And that boy Sheed says, he likes Rich Homie Kwan's music in which I made a review for him the other day, which it was a negative review. Now, he doesn't mean it the way it sounds or how I'm about to tell you, but what he pretty much said was how most people that aren't from the South really don't understand the new southern music and I got to tell you man that's some bullshit see cuz I wasn't born in the fucking south and shit but yet I respect and love a lot of the great south music that came out beforehand man I love Outkast, I love Goody Mob, I love UGK, I love 8 Ball MJG and that list can go on and on and it's not a regional thing on why I don't like Rich Homie Kwan it's the lack of skills but I do want to understand what the intrigue about Rich Homie Kwan is I personally believe it's because he's hot in the game and people love somebody who's hot in the game but if you're telling me that the music has quality to it please explain to me how I hope you enjoyed the show you can follow me at Twitter up there and you can go to downloadpads.com that's down there